Uh, on August 9th, Rod Blagojevich will be resentenced by Judge Zagel, and this is really his last chance for a, a much shorter sentence. He's not scheduled to be released until 2024. So I thought uh, I'd take a look at where some of the folks who were in Blagojevich's world through the trial and through his administrations in uh, Illinois, where they've gone. So when you look at some of their resumes, they never, they don't have his name on their resume anywhere. His, he's, his, his name is nowhere to be found. It, it, if they even have him on their resume, they even have this job that they had in uh, a high, a senior job to, to a governor uh, on their resume, it usually says the governor of Illinois, it, and it doesn't say Blagojevich, so you're, the, the reader is left to think, gee, I wonder which governor that was. One of, one of his top aides was Sheila Nix. She was a uh, his uh, deputy governor and his communications person, and she has actually gone on to, to bigger and better things. She worked for uh, Bono's uh, One Campaign, the U2 singer. His first in the administration's first term was Bradley Tusk. He then became the campaign manager for Michael Bloomberg's re-election. He, after that, he started a firm, uh, Tusk Ventures, that helped start up primarily startup companies. But he he had some other very high-profile clients like Pepsi and Google. Um, but his biggest client was Uber, and that made his firm very wealthy and made him a wealthy man.